I'm Victoria and I have multiple sclerosis. Today I want to talk about how to tell people that you have MS. These people could be people you love, your loved ones, your significant other, bae, your friends, your job, coworkers, whatever. Um, it could be just a difficult conversation or you feel like they don't need to know, but at the same time, they kind of need to know. So how I handle it was, well, first, let me start this. I'm a very upfront, transparent kind of person. So I didn't feel like I needed to like think about telling people. It is what it is. And I was like, oh, you gonna deal with this too. Like I'm upset, so who can I call? Who can be upset with me? And go, we gonna deal with this together. And I didn't want to, I don't know. I, I, would, I never thought, it never, I never thought to hide it from my family. So that was the first thing. The first people I told was my mom and my sister via text, which is kind of wrong. But I told them via text and said that I would call them later because I wasn't ready to talk because I needed to just have a moment. I ended up actually, the second person I told was like the HR guy at my job because I went during work to my appointment. And well, actually before, okay, so I was not feeling well, got all these tests done. And then the last one they did, they, it was an MRI on my brain. So when they got the results back, I went that morning to get that last MRI. That afternoon, they called me back and said, hey, we got your results back. We think you need to come in. I already knew it was something. So I told my HR guy that because I'm like, I got to leave again. I was late today because I was my appointment, you know. But I gotta leave again because I gotta go see what they're saying. But I, I needed a way to tell my boss, like, I gotta go. So I told them, like, I gotta go because I had a test run today and they said I need to get back here. So he was like, go, you know? So once I found out and then I texted and told my sister and my mom, I told, I called back and said, I just really need to take a day. And I told them what happened. He was like, take however many days you need because that's a whole big thing and I want you to take as much time as you need so that was a blessing and I took the day off and so he knew um so that was that I ended up telling my roommates because they were like why are you home from work what's going on and I told them what was going on so I told my core people who just needed to know but some people that I'm finding that I'm talking to have never told their mom have never told their uh, family outside of maybe their parents haven't told their job and haven't told significant others. At the time, I wasn't seriously dating anybody, but when I did start dating somebody, I told them immediately. And I think I told them because I didn't want anything to come up down the line. I feel like it's really unfair to have such a life-altering illness that could potentially debilitate you or change your life and the lives around you to hold that information wait to see if you like that person or if they like you or who they are whatever and then tell them later i just feel like you should give people the opportunity to make their own decision early on so when i did date i told people and to be honest it never interfered with dating i think people by them knowing early on before they even approached me or dated me that i had it it gave them the opportunity to say all right she has this I kind of understand the possibilities of it, but I like her and who she is and what she's about anyway. And I'm willing to allow myself to get to know her, potentially love her, and potentially be a person that would have to take care of her. And I think that that's such a mature decision to make on their end, and such a mature decision to make on my end to give them the opportunity to make that decision. You could not want to deal with that at all and you could think in your head what if she's in a wheelchair two years and be like you know what I don't want that risk and never talk to me but now that I wear it on my sleeve you could know that before you know me and you never talk to me because you don't need to I would like to get those people out of my way and out of my life before they ever enter like they don't need to know me so and, and a part of me thinks this I don't want to say weird but when I talk to people and they haven't told their family like I talked to someone and they were suffering from a symptom that was like an issue. Like they couldn't feel a certain body part and they hadn't told anybody. And I'm like, I would probably accidentally say, my arm isn't feeling well or my arm is numb. Or like, I would accidentally say that or like, ouch or something. Like I just feel like, how are you hiding, actively hiding something that you're going through? And why? Why are you choosing to deal with it alone? 
So I wanted to like make this video on how I told people, which may be, I mean, to me, it wasn't a challenge. It wasn't, I didn't question who I should tell. But for other people, it is a challenge. And I, I want to make it a point to let people know, like, you just don't have to, your illness or your diagnosis is not a burden to anybody. If it is, they don't belong in your life and they don't deserve you. Um, you should accept, you know, do what you have to do to accept and acknowledge and cope with your diagnosis and your health, but you shouldn't be dealing with it alone because you literally can't. Like if something does happen to you, you have a flare up, you need to be able to tell somebody so that they either A, know what to do or B, so they can take you to the hospital. Like you don't want to live, you don't want to live in a secret and you don't want to live in shame. You don't want to live in embarrassment. And I can see how that can be a thing, but it's, it just shouldn't be. So my goal is to help people through that. So if you have any questions about coping or coping mechanisms, let me know. Thanks for watching.